I'm back with another mukbang, truck bang challenge. Come get you some. Something fun looking here. Yo, hey, yo, we got some piece of pizza today. Yo, I heard Little Caesars had a whole thin and crispy thin crust pizza. So I said, hey man, I like thin thin crust. I'm finna go get me one. I remember I got that Domino's thin crust pizza. Was it thin crust of Domino's or something else? But it was delicious. And I, I be getting the white bechamel sauce. I don't think Little Caesars got that. But I got. Half extra cheese and half pepperoni. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be buzzing too. Now my watering. I want to eat a few pieces, a few pieces. I'm beatboxing. I'm so excited. I want to eat a few pieces out of it. I said, no, nah, the piece, the piece right here, the piece right here looks snaggle too. Have you right there? They, I don't know. They, it was so much trouble getting this piece. I swear for a lot. But I want to just take that out. I wonder if they, they, they uh, will notice it. I tell y'all notice. Um, anyway, let me start eating because I'm just mumbling and fumbling. And give up. We finna say grace. And we finna get it in. Come get you some. Amen. And amen again. Woo. I'm back. Old bot took me out, but I said it ain't gonna take me out. Now with that Domino's pizza, I ate pretty much the whole thing. I don't, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I gotta watch my calories again. I gotta cause I, I don't swole up in front of y'all and y'all ain't say nothing. I know one woman said, Gimmo, watch what watch what you eat when you eat that processed food. Now you don't wanna put that weight on. Translation was Negro, you getting fat, so you need to chill out. But I say, okay. Okay. Let me get this little piece that's dangling off the gum like it's about to come out your tooth. You like a loose tooth. First bite, oh so nice. I just picked this piece up. Hold me crispy. It tastes moist. It's hot out here today too. It's 96 degrees. Mm. You see that? Mmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm holding the pieces like this. I'm tripping. Pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble.
root beer. Barge root beer zero. Got that from Zaxby's. I got some cheesy jalapeno dipping sauce for my pizza. I like thin crust. I like Domino pieces thin crust. I like Little Caesars now that I know they got this thin crust. I don't like Pizza Hut thin crust. Tastes like cardboard. I ain't gonna do them like that. Drive your car with a backpack on. What you trying to do? Get vote. I've been out the past couple of days. I tell y'all why. Y'all be like, uh uh. Chicken good. When you ain't good, the Hinesville, Georgia tastes oh so bad. I used to be a manager at Popeyes. And uh I must say, I know uh, I ain't gonna do them like that. It's just the chicken says is suspect. If you see the video, you know who I'm talking about. And it ain't no coincidence the next day, boy, I lost about 13 pounds. Usually y'all like you should have lose y'all 13 pounds. You should have lost more than that, good lord. Big old boy. Okay, I ain't gonna tell you how I lost and I just lost them. You hear me? Yeah, the chicken tastes funny. Man, that chicken don't taste right. And I tell you, I tell y'all in the video. Some of y'all like, I hope, I hope you feel better. Some of y'all like, man, that ain't Bojangles. Ha 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 ha. Laughing at my downfall. I like, God dang. Are these people tripping. I know I like to have a good time, but damn, I told y'all I was sick. Y'all laughing. Y'all tripping. I was sick, man. When I say they ain't safe nowhere, they ain't safe nowhere. I don't know what I'd do if I see somebody in a, in a uniform. My stomach started cramping. Oh no. I mean, how do you let me wait 15 minutes, 20 minutes for chicken and it still come out cold? What'd I tell you? But moving back to Little Caesars. Little Caesars. The pizza? I've never had a problem with your pieces. This piece, I'm gonna give it a B. Because it ain't crispy. The other piece I had, thin crust, from down on, it was crispy. I love it. I like this. I'm gonna get it again. But I'm gonna give it a B. Now, and this is this is my waiver. Before I did this video, I was like, I'm gonna stop being hard on these people. Okay. It ain't their fault, you know what I'm saying? If they got people in there that don't care about that, now I'll bump that. You need to pay more attention to your stoves. Cause after what I just seen at um the seasons. Your customer service is atrocious. Two fifteen. I placed the order online. I'm not gonna eat this whole pizza. 
I'm not gonna do it now. Mm -mm. 215, I'm pretty sure I don't lie. For whatever reason, it told me it's gonna be ready at 248. I said, okay, let me get up. Go on, Lala Garrett. I drove by it on the way to do something else. And I came out and said, wait a minute. I got to do a video today now. Let me see if they open, because it look dark in there. They got 10 on the windows. It's an open sign, but it ain't lit up. I say, ain't nobody in here. So I turned around, went back in there. And uh, I opened the door. I said, oh, I guess they open. I walked back out. And I heard somebody say, we'll be right with you. I said, no, you won't. So I ran out of there <laughs> like a punk, like a little kid trying to do a practical joke. I ran out of there and I went to go do what I had to do. And I come back, I said, well, it, it's 249 now. So I go up in there and he said, what's your code? I said, code? Nah, I ain't even paying no attention because when I made the order, it, it wouldn't tell me what type of pizza I got. It just said round. I said round. I said that can't be right. And I should have deleted it and just did it over again, but I did. So I go there and I check it before I go in uh And uh, he said, put your code in. I said, code? He said, well, just tell me the telephone number. I ain't got time to do all this code like it's precious gold or something. So I get a pizza and I get my dipping sauces and I open it up and he waiting on other people. And he said, what's wrong? I said, this ain't, this is a regular cheese pizza. I said, this ain't what I wanted. He said, well, let me find your manager. <laughs> and I heard the man, I seen the manager when I first came in the store. I said, woo, you look a little rough around the edges. Yeah. This is a business establishment. She should have dressed better. And I heard somebody go, huh. Oh. She come around the corner, man. Mr. Mr. Little Caesar's man. A lot of you not. She had on a dirty Little Caesar shirt with an apron, green shorts, like real thin cotton shorts, and a frown on her face. And I'm not, I think she might have had on slides. And I say, this the manager? I said, what the hell the owner look like? If this the manager, who hired you? So that tell me now, y'all don't y'all don't check on y'all store. Y'all never come get it. If this what y'all manager look like. And uh, I said, hey, this is the wrong pizza. Um, and then she said, well, we can't give you no refund. You have to do that online. And in my head, I said, she. And I say, and then she was so nonchalant about it, like she really didn't care. Like it's back in the 1950s and 60s. So we only serve white people pizzas. That's how she looked at me. That's how she looked at me. I promise, I'm, I'm keeping it a bean with you. That's the attitude she gave me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should keep that in there, but whatever. That's how she looked at me. So I say, and I say, well, give me a number to call. So she gave me a fake number. She gave me a number that was for delivery, not online orders. Cause I got in the car and I said, well, I'm finna got in the truck. I said, I'm finna call them right now. And he said, How you doing, sir? I said, I said, Yeah, I'm trying to get my money back. She said she can't get my money back. I gotta do it online. He said, Well, this is delivery. Make a lot of stores, but this is delivery. They they have to give you money back from the store. I said, from the store? I said, could you hold on one second, sir? Don't go nowhere. So I took the phone in there with the man on it. And then she said, my dad. she just looking at me with her with her head resting on her shoulders, cause she ain't got no neck. She's just not looking at me. I say, ooh, that was mean. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. But she should have been better. Oh, this video. <laughs> and she come out, she's looking at me like, what you want? And I was like, uh, I said, hold on. I said, hold on, sir. I said, he just told me on the phone, first of all, you gave me the wrong number. It's delivery. This is online. Second of all, he just told me on the phone, I got to get a refund from the store. And she said, really? And she just chipped it up, cause she, I guess she thought I had a manager on the phone, or like her boss man on the phone. She said, well, let me see. I said, that's a change of attitude. I said, boy, mm, mm. So that's a change of attitude. Now mind you, before all this happened, I ordered another pizza and I'm waiting on that. So he, uh, she, she said, well, dude, I didn't know you could do that here. It, took, it ain't take 10 seconds for her to give my money back. Refund it back on my card.
And I told the man on the line, he was just like a customer rep, customer service rep. I said, yeah, you there? He said, yeah, I am here. I said, I just want you to be on the line. When I went in there and told him. He said, yeah, I heard him. Anything else you need? I said, no. I said, you have a nice day. So I had a few more minutes till my new piece was ready. But I say that to say, little Caesar, put your little sandals on your feet, tie that little blanket around you, put a little rope around your waist so it'll stay up, put your little leafy hat on, or leafy, what you call that? Band, leafy band on, get on your damn chariot, and you come get your stove. Because they tripping. And their attitude is atrocious. That's the manager? That's the manager of your store? Man, you just need, you, you need to do a pop-up. But hell, you probably dress just like them now. Come get your store. And that's like, too much going on. I just want to do a video. It's too much happening. And I had I forgot my work shirt. I had to go back to the house and get my work shirt. And I say, let me go to Zaxby's and get one of them mixed berry drinks. Mixed berry zero sugar, mixed berry minute made drinks. I went in there, I say, hey say, hi, now they had some good customer service. Zaxby's. And they just smile. Hey, how you doing? I said, I'm good. How you doing? I said, I just need a large drink. Okay, that'd be such and such and such. And such. Gave it a good. Thank you. You have a good day. You have a good day too. I give it to you now. I give it to you. If you, if you do good, I, I say good about you. Went and got my ice. Went over to that little, uh, what you call it? Coke machine where they got all the drinks in there. I said, yeah, let me get this Minute Maid. It unavailable. I said, I need some tissue, because I'm finna cry. Okay. I need one more piece of the piece. I'm gonna call it a day. So, that's how I got the root beer zero sugar. It's delicious too. It's very good. And that mini made mixed berry, but it's okay. I'm just saying, man, when I be I be trying to give you the honest customer experience. <clears throat> That's all I'm trying to do. I find it, I'm trying to do it for my city. Cause my city is a pity. You hear me? I'm saying I ain't putting on. This is actually happening at every establishment I go to, as if it's asking. The customer service is horrible. I, I've never seen anything like it. Or maybe I haven't paid attention. I paid attention to it. Good Lord. Want me to be a food reviewer? I'm a restaurant reviewer. I'm telling everything. If you do good, I say good about you. If you do bad, good lord. It's going down. This piece was delicious. I wish it was a little, little more crispy. But it gonna be. I'll be back. I'm gonna I'm I'm go back to it with y'all get y'all manager up out of there. Change her dress code because she looked like she she looked like she just got out of the bed and she did not care until I put them folks on them and she was like oh okay I didn't know he could do that said, yeah he could do that how you know you could do this what's this you need to go home and change the clothes and come back it's like it was summer vacation in there like it was a summer camp everybody good lord I probably got some flack for this but I ain't making none of this up that's what really happened. And those are my thoughts at the time. So, 
Little Caesars. Piece of pizza, thin, thin, crust, crust, must, must. I'm tripping. That's a new thing. That's gonna be the thing there right there. Hey. No, we're gonna go ignore that. One more thing. Shout out to Eugenie Sniper. She sent me another thanks. No, thank you. Thank you, because you, you realize what you got to do as a true fan. I appreciate you. Now, like I say, <laughs> if you feel like donating, go ahead. If you don't, I can't make it. <laughs> but it would be a lot easier. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a bean with you. It'd be a lot easier. Appreciate you. A dollar, two dollars. No, I don't care. That's all right. <laughs> She said, this nigga is speaking a language unheard of. You know what I mean? <laughs> I appreciate you. She showed a lot of support, man. I appreciate you, Ed Denisa. And look here. Don't be coming in my comments negative. Because <laughs> I won't bite my tongue. I don't get paid for this. So I'm going to say what I'm going to say. You say what you say, I'm going to say what I say. I might put your name in it if you hurt me too bad. I don't care if you support her or not. Don't be, don't be coming in with that. I, I do this to feel good about myself to maybe accomplish something one day. Nah, you, you go over them big time YouTubers and you talk that to them. If you ain't talking that to them, don't talk it to me. Because I do a whole video about you. I promise. I promise. You need to take some time. If you... If you take YouTube this seriously, you need to take some time away and just go into the real world and reevaluate your life. Instead of deterring me or hurting my feelings and you don't even know me. Huh? Just do that. I'm done rambling. I got to go to work. I'm finna call him and tell him I ain't coming because I don't feel good. Just playing. I wish I could. Piece gonna get eight. I just gotta leave a little space. I gotta leave a little space. Cause it was delicious. But yo man, I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to comment. <laughs> I was about to close out. Don't forget to comment, comment, comment. Spam it up. Now I didn't delete the comments, the negative comments, cause I want the comments. <laughs> you can say what you want to. That don't mean I ain't gonna say something back. I just not, I'm not gonna delete your comment. And if it's that bad, they're gonna hold it for review anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care what you leave. You see, she, you know, I ain't delete the comment. I said, yeah, she can say all that nonsense, but it's in there. It's in there. But uh, yeah, comment and like the video. And comment again and like the video. Not this, probably ain't a lot of people gonna like this one. Cause y'all talking about, you always talking about somebody, hey. I think I feel like it was well deserved. Nah, it's just a true honest. It's, if you don't like honest videos, don't watch my, my channel. But comment that you don't like honest videos. Comment first. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay kinfo. Bussin', bussin', bussin'. You got to trust the Coke Zero. You know what I'm talking about?